Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and now even Hillary Clinton is sounding the alarm on Joe Biden's age. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. Former United States Senator, former United States Secretary of State, former First Lady Hillary Clinton, two-time Democrat presidential candidate, she knows a bit about this. She was giving an interview this weekend where she basically said Joe Biden, well, she didn't basically say it, she did say it, Joe Biden's age is a legitimate issue for the voters. Look, the guy's going to be 86 if he wins again, 86 on his last day in office. How many people in this life make 86? It's not a great number, a lot of people, but it's not a gigantic number. And by all indications, he's in good physical health, but 86 years old, I remember when they used to make fun of Ronald Reagan's age. And Ronald Reagan was younger on his last day of eight years in the White House than Joe Biden was on his first day years ago, three years ago. And yet you don't see the same jokes. I wonder why that is. I digress. If Hillary Clinton is sounding the alarm and you know she wants Biden to win, it's got to be something we all take seriously, right? Let's take a look at this interview with her. And then please give me your thoughts. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really helps us out. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. NBC News poll shows that 76% of voters are concerned about President Biden's age. On Wednesday, I asked former presidential candidate Hillary Clinton about this fact and how Biden should handle it. The thing, the X factor in all of this, the thing that we keep seeing in poll after poll after poll is concern about Biden's age, mm -hmm. full stop. Mm -hmm. What should he do on this? Does he, is it, is a matter of sort of like uh, underscoring his boundless energy mm -hmm. or, or should he embrace his, you know, eight decades on earth and the, and the great wisdom he's gained through all of this? I, I, I mean, do you have... All the above, all yeah. the above. I mean, I, you know, I talk to people in the White House all the time yeah. and... You know, they know it's an issue, but as I like to say, look, it's a legitimate issue. It's a legitimate issue for Trump, who's only three years younger, right? So it's an issue. Once you say that, then you have to also talk about what's at stake in the election. And I'm for Joe Biden for re-election on the merits, because I think he's done a really good job as president. So I think he should continue to get out and campaign. He's been campaigning pretty vigorously across the country. You know, and he actually does events where he's interacting with people, yeah. unlike Trump, who stands on a stage and, you know, uh, goes on and on for, you know, 90 minutes. Uh, you know, Biden's taking questions. He's talking to people in small Not from groups. the media. Well, but that's okay. And, you know, it's okay. I'm sorry, Alex. It's okay. We will, we respectfully because disagree. Neither is Trump. I mean, you know, neither one of them are going. They, they at this point in the campaign, are trying to, you know, communicate with as many people yeah. as possible. I think Biden also should lean in to the fact that he's experienced and that experience is not just in the political arena it's like the stuff of you know human experience yeah, character character wisdom i think he should be willing to really hold that out say you know how do you pull together a coalition to stand against russian aggression well, you don't do it by photo ops. You do it because you have long experience in dealing with leaders and you know what's at stake. And I think he should kid more about it. He sometimes makes a joke when, you know, we haven't done something like this since, you know, James Madison and I talked to him about it. I mean, I think things like that, which are sort of I just funny. turned 113 years old. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>